We're looking at those at temperatures there in the uh, lower 80s out there for you here early this morning. So yes, it is going to be a warm one out there for us. We know that. Now I do want to go back to what the Kara just mentioned as we do have the uh, super blue moon. We're going to really start to see that or be able to see that tonight, hopefully, and it should be clear. But as uh, Kara just uh, mentioned, yeah, we will have that tonight. Moonrise, as you see, is going to be 827. So it should be pretty cool that we get to see this. The, uh, the super blue moon uh, that we get to see tonight as my graphics. There we go. We'll get back to that. There we are looking at that here as we head into this evening and tonight that super blue moon closest to the earth looks 14% bigger, 30% brighter than usual. So that's what we're going to have out there for tonight. And it's the name of the second full moon of the month, or in this case, the fourth full moon of the season. So yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. And we'll have to wait a while before this happens again. Won't be until January of 20. 37. So get on out and check it out tonight. All right, now back out to Clyde Warren Park. 85 degrees feels like it's 87 out there for you here this morning. We'll see those temperatures warming up as we go through the day. We have to remember we still have that elevated fire danger as well. So that's something that we'll still have to deal with this week. It is going to be dry, going to stay that way. The lower humidity out there and those are very warm temperatures, hot temperatures. In fact, keeping that uh, fire danger elevated and we're starting to dry out now too a little bit more because it's been a while since we've seen some rain and we'll have to wait a while longer. Now we we do have some showers and thunderstorms clipping uh, the uh, Arklatech region here this morning and a frontal boundary as well. That's going to be nudging in, kind of sneaking in through the back door over the next couple of days. That's going to ease on into North Texas and really knock our temperatures down just a little bit, a little bit later this week. So that is something to look forward to. Now for today, we're still looking at some seriously hot temperatures, 105 to 106 Fort Worth over to Dallas. The record high today, 108. Back last summer, we got that uh, got that hot for us. Now we'll only be though in the upper 90s head out toward Paris and Clarksville and you can see in our northeastern county. So that's the less hot temperatures that we'll have and some of those will ease on into our area. So I do think we'll finally break the string of triple digit days, if not Wednesday, certainly for the latter half of the week. So here's that 14 day forecast for you. And now it does stay dry for us. Unfortunately, mostly sunny skies as we're looking at those daytime highs by Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 90s. So we're still going to be up around 98 to 99, maybe a little cooler in a few spots here across North Texas over the next few days and we'll keep it in the upper 90s. So no triple digits doesn't mean we won't hit triple digits at some point in a few places. But yeah, we're going to be in the upper 90s and those low end rain chances as we head on into the latter half of the month. Wrapping up the month, starting off September, getting on into Labor Day weekend. All right, let's get back over to station.